Hello and welcome to um, Mindful Meditation Mondays. That's really hard for me to say. <laughs> Just to let you know, that's why I always say it so slow, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, I wanted to talk to you today about responding to stress in the present moment. This is something that I am definitely working on myself and so because I had a moment today where I had to do that, I thought that that would be the topic that we'd talk about. So how does meditation help whenever you have stress in the present moment? Like, how does that help? Does it have any benefits? Um, what do you do as, 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 as a person that's trying to live the life of love and light when somebody or something happens and it doesn't feel good? How, what is, what is the appropriate way to react? First of all, we don't want to react, we want to be proactive, and so um, the 10 minutes that you do at the very beginning of the day of meditation and just quieting your mind and understanding what your intentions are, that gives you reassurance. It's a reassurance about it that even no matter whatever is going on, you know what your intentions are for the day. And so because you've made the time to uh, go through that and in your mind you're playing it back and if it's not a part of what you've played back you don't get as stressed because it's like you already know that you've said it and so there's the type of confidence in there um, that's the best way I can explain it so whenever you go into stress number one do you feel that you have the ability to handle the situation do you think that I mean do you get anxious just thinking about the situation arising or do you feel prepared to go in and like I said that that meditation always makes me now I can only speak from my my perspective this is all my opinion but um, for me meditation does set the intentions for the day and make me feel confident to leave because I did have some issues with anxiety leaving the house but whenever I meditate, I do find those intentions really help because then it guides me to whatever it is that I have said for the day. So um, have confidence. You got this. If you're motivated to respond effectively, then you'll be more resilient and you'll experience less trauma and less stress. So prepare yourself. You know, take some quiet time. Understand where you are at the moment because when you understand where you are you're, you're more empathetic and understanding of what's going on Do you have core values? This was a huge thing for me, and I think that people will get core values and um, Morals and values kind of mixed up. I don't believe they're the same things my these are my core values I've got 11 of them and um, I had an exercise that I created if you want to um contact me about that or whatever we can set you up a session consultation or something like that so that you can do this exercise because it was huge for me a huge change happened um, whenever I build when I whenever I built my uh, core values and so what I did is I put them um, beside my bed uh, you can kind of see it those are my core values that that um, paper at the very bottom those are my core values so whenever I wake up in the morning they're right there and then um, I go to my bathroom on my bathroom mirror. They're right there. And then whenever I go uh, to the biggest room, biggest mirror in, in um, my place, they're right there. Like everywhere I look, there's these core values. And so it's hard to miss them. Oh, and when I'm sitting on the toilet, they're right there. So I, I needed to make sure that um, I practiced them and that I, I looked at them and that I understood, you know, because... If you're a person like me, I was a people pleaser. I said yes to everything. I had a plate full of a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know why I committed to it. I just didn't want to make somebody mad. I didn't want to say no, but that's not good for you. You become the nice person that like has a heart attack at like 42, you know? So I had to stop that. So whenever I looked at the core values, I understood where I was flawed in my thinking and that I was really, it was my fault. That I was feeling that way and I really needed to check myself and say you know what I'm not gonna be made to feel blah 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 you know so um, core values are huge uh, it heightens your sense of well-being it diminishes the psychological distress because you're stressed out or whatever if you really feel bad about making other people feel bad and you're always worried about everybody else's feelings so that decreases because you already know where you stand so it's, it's not an issue and um, 
it just it decreases your uh it increases your pain tolerance and stressful circumstances so what used to like what used to make you go from one to ten maybe you go to like maybe a five now that done really hmm, i can i can i can i can deal with that now so that is my experience um do you try to avoid the stressful feelings <laughs> We all want to think that we're doing a really good job of managing um, the way that we feel, but um, I know I was a runner. I would run away from it. I'd try to repress it, you know, suppress it, and just push it down because I'm a strong girl and I can deal with this. But um, don't feel like you have to avoid it. I believe that situations are going to happen the way that they do, and it's only our response to it not don't don't get off you know flustered thinking you're gonna go off on this person if that's what you feel that's probably what's gonna happen and so in a situation like that I'm about to go into a stressful situation I have my core values of what I will and won't tolerate and then I have positive affirmations about what's gonna happen whenever I go in here I'm not gonna have an issue because everybody's gonna be of love and light and only the people that are of love and light are going to be around me. The rest of them, they're just going to kind of ignore me. Every, the night is going to flow. You have to, you have to, you make your thoughts make your reality. If you're not saying that to yourself, what is it that you're saying? So a lot of what we've experienced is what we've created. Myself definitely included. A lot of things that I've experienced. I shouldn't have had to experience that, but... What do we do? Well, I believe in um, considering the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario. So that's what you're gonna focus on is the worst case scenario. Now that prepares you, that's what I said. Well, then I'll always be prepared for the worst case scenario because I've already thought about it. But how much do you focus on it? I understand being able to do that because you don't wanna be naive or you don't wanna be ignorant. But at some point, you've got to let the worst case scenario go because you want the best case scenario. Your thoughts are your reality. So know that have confidence in yourself. Know that you are more than able to handle the stress based on your core values, based on you getting up and meditating and knowing your intentions and knowing your heart and being in love with yourself and checking yourself when necessary without any judgment. Just, you know, be aware this meditation thing has made me aware of a lot of my issues. I mean, it's been some serious shadow work. But I know that, and I own it. As long as I'm owning it and, I, and I'm and i working on it, I'm good. I feel good. I'm like, I, I, I catch myself and I'm like, oh, it's Nikki trying to creep up again. Okay. <laughs> I always want to be my higher self at all times. I always want to show up um, as my best self at all times. So, um that is our mindful moment i didn't do a whole lot of meditation because we've done a lot of meditation together but um i want you to remember to enjoy the moment once that time is gone you can't get it back so we need to be steady taking back our time so just think about that responding to stress in the present moment what are you going to do the first thing i do is take a breath Okay, so just take a breath and go in through your meditations. Happy mindful meditation um, Monday, you guys. Peace and blessings to all of you guys. <laughs>